Blue Beetle is the latest DC superhero to hit the big screen. It follows Jaime Reyes, a Mexican-American teen with a high-tech, high-powered suit obtained through the possession of an extraterrestrial scarab, a beetle-shaped amulet. He's the third iteration of the character dating back to the 1930s. This, this Jaime was co-created by North Alabama native Cully Hamner. And joining us now to talk more about it is Cully Hamner himself. Good morning. Morning, how are you guys? We are good, thank you so much for joining us. Let's start with how Jaime came yeah, to fruition. My pleasure. I'm sorry, say again? Let's talk about how you came to invent the character of Jaime. Well, um, I was working for DC Comics, uh, which is a company I've, I've worked for on and off for about 30 years now. Uh, it was 2006, they were doing a big uh, a crossover event called uh, Infinite Crisis and they had recently killed the previous version of Blue Beetle, which is a character named Ted Cord, who is uh, referenced in the movie. Uh, and they wanted to come up with a new version of the character, something that uh, appealed to young people a little bit more, something that appealed multiculturally a little bit more. Uh, and they had gone to a writer named Keith Giffen, uh, and he brought another writer and a co-writer named John Rogers, who is uh, now a, a big TV producer. Uh, and the they came up with uh, a script with this this character, Jaime Reyes. They didn't know what he looked like. Um, and they had gone to a number of different artists and, and, and uh, people had done design passes at the character. And uh, DC just couldn't get what they wanted uh, out of anyone else. And they, uh, the art director at the time, Mark Chiarello, came to me. And uh, the first thing I saw was, you know, this is a, a, a Mexican-American kid. Uh, I think he you know, needed to have something that reflected his culture a little a little bit. So the mask that I came up with has kind of a luchador influence. Uh, and I wanted something that felt a little more, you know, for lack of a better term, Beatle-ish. Um, everything that they had shown me before had more of a, of, a, of a mecha, kind of a Japanese robot feel to it. And I just felt like that was the wrong way to go. And, you know, we were off to the races at that point. Okay, we would love to know, what are your thoughts about the movie? Oh, the movie's great. I love the movie. I've seen it probably uh, three times at this point. Um, I got to see it a little early, which was nice. Um, and I, I think uh, there are things in this movie that it will, will appeal to everybody. I mean, it's not, you know, you look at this movie and it's, there is kind of universality and specificity, I think. You know, you've got a, 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 a Mex or you've got a, a, an Hispanic a Latino family uh, that is, pretty recognizable for anybody with a, with a big family <laughs> you know you, you're you're gonna recognize the people in this family and and i i think there's a lot of heart to it and uh they got my costume pretty right you know and uh, uh i just think it's a really great movie it's a lot of fun what's it like creating a character that's such a major character in dc comics well it wasn't major at the time that's the thing is is the the, the, the ted cord character uh, you know, the reason they got rid of him and, you know, these characters always come back. So the Ted Cord, you know, eventually came back. So there's more than one Blue Beetle. Uh, but Jaime, you know, you, you're doing the, the, the book at the time. You don't, you know, a lot of the time you don't think anybody's reading. And the only over time do you start to realize that the, that he made an impact. Uh, and I get tons of kids. I get tons of, of Latino families come up to me at conventions and are really touched and affected by Jaime. Um, I, I did a, a number of events and early screenings of the film, and it was just packed with fans, just literal, genuine fans of the character. And that's the best thing to me, especially uh, parents and kids. That's like the best thing and the best feeling in the world is somebody tells you that this character affected them and they want to share it with their kids. And are you working on any other projects right now? I am. I'm working with a writer named Greg Rucka, uh, who is a, a pretty well-known writer. Uh, he and I did a, a, a character called The Question uh, for DC years ago, and we're doing a new creator-owned uh, series for Image Comics. has not been announced yet, so I'm not going to give you the title yet. Uh, Greg is known for, uh, among other things, a, a Netflix film called The Old Guard, which was pretty successful. Uh, and uh, hopefully we'll be announcing that in a few months. Ooh, we can't wait to hear all about it. Coley, thank you so much for joining us. My pleasure. Nice to meet you guys. Nice to nice meet, to you, meet too. you, too.